Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Insight Battery Lab. My name is Ali Khazeli, I'm a battery subject matter expert at Tech Insight. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the TTK multi-layer solid state battery. But before going to that one, at Tech Insight, we are profiling the batteries that will have a significant technological advancement, such as the graphene-based anode materials, such as the silicon-based anode material, and we are actively looking for the solid state battery, which is a promising technology for the consumer electronics and EVs. At Tech Insight, our battery essential reports are focusing on the, how these batteries are made, and we are also be, have a battery characterization report that we explain that how these batteries are performed, and also we focus on the, how these batteries last through our battery cyclic life test. Lithium ion batteries are currently the most promising power sources for the consumer electronics and for EVs. In principle, the lithium ion batteries are made up of the anode which is the negative electrode, cathode, positive electrode, separators, and electrolyte. Generally, the anode is made up of the graphite, but the energy density of the lithium ion batteries can be increased if we use lithium metal instead of the graphite. But this is not an easy task because replacement of the lithium ion lithium metals with the graphite leads to the dendrite formation during charge and discharge of the battery. But the question is that how we can actually suppress this dendrite formation. One of the best practices is that using the solid state electrolyte. In the solid state electrolyte, in contrast to the liquid electrolyte, the ion movements happen into the a solid medium, not inside the electrolyte, which is actually suppress the dendrite formation. Solid state technology, there are a lot of companies actually working on it, but it still is not become commercially available. There are some semi-solid state batteries such as the a blue solution. This type of made, uh, this is a company in the Canada that makes the batteries, solid state batteries. But this type of the solid state, uh, semi solid state batteries, still there are some liquid in it. Why the removal of the elect, uh, liquid electron is very important because if it's the dendrite formation happens and if we have a thermal runaway condition, the electrolyte is going to be, uh, it's a combustible material and it's going to explode the battery. But if you don't have any liquid, your battery is going to be, to be safe and any internal short circuit is not going to happen to the thermal runaway condition. We at, in 2024, we think that the solid state battery is going to be, be, going to be see it, uh, commercially available soon in the market. But one of the interesting batteries that it inherits some part of the uh, technology from the solid state battery is this TDK battery, which is the micro battery, at, uh, which is called the multi-layer uh, 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 chip battery. This very small battery, there is no electrolyte in it. All the materials is the solid state. But this is not the exact solid state that we are talking about. Because in the solid state battery, that we think that is going to be the promised technology in the future, is going to have the lithium metal and the, some, mater some uh, cathodic material on the uh, cathode side, which acts, which is the similar material used in the lithium ion batteries. This battery, it's actually the fair, uh, we can say that it's the, one of the earliest commercial products can actually uh, uh, consider as a solid state battery. We hope you enjoyed the beginning of the TTK solid state micro battery video. Scan the QR code on the screen for the full video and analysis, exclusively available on the Tech Insights platform. Tech Insights, the authoritative information platform for the semiconductor industry.